Hi guys, it's Tara Reed. You're watching Joe and Marie all day, all night. YouTube family. How you doing guys? Hi everyone, welcome back to another lovely episode of What Didn't Make Our Shelf. Or My Shelf. But uh, I watched two titles this month. This is episode number 44. So sit down, buckle your overalls, hold on to your goggles. I've been watching a lot of Minions lately. But um, we're going to start off with a DVD first. Body of Lies with Leonardo DiCaprio and Russell Crowe. This is from 2008. It is 128 minutes. So it's like two hours and eight minutes. Basically, it's about... A CIA investigation and wanting to trust people and you can't and in order to survive and you know you gotta deceive uh, trust no one deceive everyone so it wasn't really memorable memorable for me I live in an anemone but um the CIA is on the hunt for the mastermind wave of terrorist attacks it was interesting but it's basically about terrorist attacks and how you basically go in. I gave it a two. Yeah, I've seen this movie before. It's a good movie, but it's nothing that I would watch again. It's literally a one-time watch. That's why I've never upgraded it. Um, it's okay, but I there's other movies like Sicario and other ones like that. The Spy Game that I'd rather watch over this. I didn't like the vengeance of like the terror attacks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. there, there's a lot of that and just, you know, trying to weave things in and out. Interesting, but yeah. just not enough. I give it a 2.5. Check it out if you, you know, see it for a couple bucks, but yeah. don't go out of your way to find it. Mm -hmm. This next one, oh lord. I don't know what I was thinking. He bought this for me. He's like, oh look at this. She's gonna love it. It's got like animals all over the front. And a lady that resembles Dolly, but this is a special edition Blu-ray of Lily's Light, the movie. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! All day pass. Yes. This is an MVD visual. <laughs> Lord, the color in this is beautiful, though. It showed some scenes of a beach and a rainbow at the end. That was like the best part of the movie. But anyway. Lily's Light. This is from 2021. It is 78 minutes. That means it is 76 minutes too long for me. I literally put this in and I said, oh no. And I couldn't do it. But I'm like, I got to do it for the people. So I watched this. This is bad. Bullshit. 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 Right here. But anyway. Oh my God. This is just cheesy acting with the kids. Um... The only good thing about it, besides the um, rainbows and the scenery at the end with the lighthouse, um, was Mindy Sterling from Austin Powers is in there. Pull the lever! The other lever! Well, that was cool to see her, but um, what's her name? I forget her name. Sherry Hersey. She's the one that produced it and wrote the songs and... Um, did the story, the mm -hmm. whole weird story of going back and forth from present day to like not present. That was weird too, but they had all these characters in it and don't even get me started on the pig jokes that they were like, oh my God, hamming it up. And then there was, um, what's that wizard's name? They had Moylan the wizard and they were talking about Knights of the Round Table with the pig it was just a mess. And, and they had characters about how Lily met her friend. Lily is the blonde. On the cover. That's the one that sang, wrote, produced, whatever. So she's starring in it and she did all that mess. I mean, all this movie. And mess. <laughs> hot mess. But anyway, um, the characters were Kenny Fix It, uh, Willie Fix It, and. No, it, it was Willie Patchett, Kenny Patchett, and all Patchett, his cousin. So they had a family of Patchetts, and I thought that was, like, ridiculous with the names. 
Uh, it was pretty ridiculous. Mm, I couldn't remember the names, so I called it something different. But no, it was nothing special. The jokes were like, oh my god. Watch the end credits for the joke. But anyway, there is um, special features. Thank you. And they're just behind the scenes, a Q&A with the cast, photo gallery, theatrical trailer, digital activity books. I don't know how you would interact with this, but this this is great for like three, four, five-year-olds. They would like this with the singing and the animals and imaginary. The whole story is that it opens with Lily being an abandoned child and she comes upon this lighthouse and she helps other children that don't have a home. So they live in the lighthouse and they go in the attic or the basement, I forget which, and they find a book and they make all adventures in that book. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it, it's good for little kids. I, I would give that a three for a three or four year old little girl, probably. But for an adult, it's a... It's a hard no all day pass. What'd you give it? I gave it a 0.5 because I, I liked her. She kind of looked like Dolly and the color was good and small kids would enjoy it. I walked in the room a couple of times. Barney looks good. <laughs> I walked, I walked in the room a couple of times when she was watching this and it almost looks like it's like in stage form. It almost looks like it was a play on a stage. Yes. It's... <laughs> low budgery. It's super low budge. It's not good. And while she was watching, I'm like, why don't you just... Turn that off. I'm right? like, just shut it off. I'm like, why are you even waste your time? She goes, I gotta watch it. I gotta finish it. I gotta watch it for the people. Yeah. But, but I was... It was bad. I was, um, you know, happy to check it out and not talk about it. I'm just excited to talk about a bad movie. I'm sorry. But if you see this movie run... <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, but if, if you like songs and little jokes, you know, you, if you have a, a small child, they, they might enjoy it. A little girl would love that. But I liked all the animals. That is everything that we have for this month. Not a lot. Oh. Just two titles. Mm -hmm. That's it. Um, in the description down below will be our Instagrams as well as my email. If you're interested in either one of these. As I always say, our trash might be your treasure. Uh, if you want to leave a comment down below, especially about uh, Lily's Light. If Have you seen, seen it? Have you ever come across it in the wild and sad that you passed up on it? Yep. Don't be sad that you passed up on it. With or without slip, leave it behind. There's no slip for it. If that came in a steel book, leave it behind. So no. Sorry, uh, Alex, if you're watching. But, yeah. And you made it this far. I'm sorry. But... If you like this video, <laughs> if you like this video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, videos before and after. If you want to subscribe to us, hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell, and we'll have more videos for you. If you want to leave a comment down below about either one of these, like I said, especially the Lily's Light, if you've ever seen it, start typing away. Or but, do a different thing and tell me your favorite movie that you just watched. Yeah. And I probably haven't seen it, so. Yeah. But until happy to talk to you. next time, guys. Bye. I am out. Oh, yeah. Bye. Coffee. I just realized.